are some minutes before to meet again the most loud crowd from this side of the world. How do you control the previous nerves? Do you have some kind of ritual before the situations? No, I think we just try to chill and, and uh, make sure you have uh, drink, have drinking enough uh, fluids and eating well, and uh, and then everybody pretty much do their own thing mm. before we get together and go up on stage. So it's yeah. not really preparation. It's not really different depending on where we are. It's, it's always the constant same. It's really overwhelming to go on stage. The first two or three songs is like. Um, like um, adrenaline flowing and stuff like that. It's pretty, pretty cool. Going a little bit back in time, especially to the last year concert here in Chile, what kind of memories do you have about that show, the people, and about the fan club? Is there any situation worth to remember? No, it was a really big show last year. Um, and of course, it was interesting. Uh, in the way that we played a, a much longer set than usual. So, yeah, so, so I think that's what first comes to mind, at least for me. Yeah. And the gift that we uh, get from the time. Talking about the gift that you receive when you are on touring, which has been the funniest gift uh, through this tour? Um, what about the unpleasant ones? I have it in my room. Oh, you have it? Thank you. I have to say, the metal plates go off at one point that I had to do a clue with that. Oh, luckily, I hadn't actually put it on the wall yet. It's in my staircase, you know, going up the stairs. Had it fallen down, it would have. Well, it was heavy. <laughs> so, yeah, but, but it's, it's fantastic. I love it. Well, for me, it's the wolf that I had in Brazil. I gave it with me. I think we all have the same kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, it's sort of with Brazilian and football. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It was funny because, yeah. 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 because Pasi had also the when he joined the band, he got his own group hey, uh, afterwards. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's funny. Right. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we've done a lot of stuff in the earlier years, white glasses and yeah. such. We know that this day we will have a lot of surprises about the shows and about the set list here in Chile. What do you expect about the fans in the other hand? No, oh, we don't have any idea. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, can, we can give them kind of educated, yes, but it's not really a surprise. Yeah. 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 Been here many times before and then it's just every time right. So like, we can at least expect to come in less. We yeah. can sell it to the expectations when we buy it. Okay, yeah. Well, about the new Ecliptica and how important it was for a lot of fans in the world, can you explain to us how it was to re record the song I Am Haunted? It's one of the oldest songs when you started in KME 15 years ago. And anyways, we can still hear a lot of Sonata Arctica style, like in the other new songs too, but we actually want to know how was the process of I Am Haunted. For everyone else, but me and Tommy, well, the whole album actually was the first time for but then even me and Tommy, we have never even played that song live as Sonata Arctica. So I think, like, last time we played I Am Haunted, been like maybe 98 or something like that. Then, when this idea came up that we might actually take one of the old songs and, and use it as a bonus track for that release, uh, that was my first choice, and, and no one was against it because I, I suppose it's, it's most in the same vein with, with the original thing we were doing back in the clip, you know, and everything, you know, some kind of trashy metal thing. And, uh, I remember you know, our whole town when we were playing live. It's, it's too contagious, the whole song and everything. It just sticks in your head. It's annoying up to that level. You know, it's hard to. So, uh, yeah, it was yeah. an easy choice to go back to that song. We haven't actually never played it together as a band. No, we have not. Yeah. Actually, when I well, recorded that, <laughs> I recorded it back in the studio only with clip track. Track. Uh, yeah, there, was, there wasn't anything <laughs> like guitar or anything like that. I was just trying to remember that song and BOW! Okay, 
Thank you, Chile, once again. <laughs> it's been a pleasure here. We've been here for a day now, and, and, and uh, it's nice and warm, and people are beautiful and, and, and friendly. And, and, uh, and uh, our fan club is the best in the world. Absolutely. See? It's great. Check this out. We can come and give we get here. Yo, por ejemplo, estaba esperando el año pasado cuando fue el concierto del 2014. Eh, ya vine y quedé pasé nada más atrás. Ya pegado, ya Nosotros nos quedamos con la gana cuando este loco vino, así que sí, estamos ya, esperando. Por ejemplo, para él era mucho más tranquilo y no pudo venir. Y después, como que no, si hacen otro, tienen que ir. Después, cuando confirmaron, fue como, no, tiene que ir. Canción así, Chai, tenía que ser. Estamos. Y ahí, para que Chai la toque. ¿Y otro tema más que le gustaría escuchar? Vos Sí, sí, réplica, pulmón, la tal o la réplica, Luego de un gran concierto lleno de energía y sentimientos encontrados, les invitamos a formar parte del fan club más grande del mundo y esperar junto a nosotros hasta el 2018 por el gran regreso de Sonata Ártica a Chile en un inmenso e interesante proyecto.